Hudson River. Okay. Day three, we are staying at the Kidding House in Mount Kisco, New York and having a delightful breakfast. And it's raining outside. Still nice though. Well, we're here at Leonard Park in Mount Kisco, New York. And uh, we've got a light misting rain coming down. But it's still pretty nice out. Pretty light, pretty warm, kind of moist. Most ghetto basket I've ever seen. <laughs> Somebody tried to bend it real good. One of the things about frisbee golf, disc golf, I mean, gotta change that. Call it the right thing. Is that you're kind of under the trees, so even though it's raining, it's really not hitting us at all. So it can be a slightly rainy day and you can still play where in real normal golf, if it's that way, you really can't. These are probably the worst baskets I've ever seen. Um, it looks like they bought a very cheap one and they tried to add extra chains, but unfortunately they added the chains in the wrong places. They should be in between the other chains, like here, here. Uh, but your, your frisbee can just go straight through very easily, so you have to be very careful in this course. Uh, it takes a lot more room. Accuracy. Accuracy, thank you. Up the mountain! It's very clover field of me to walk around and talk while videoing. I love that movie. Besides the terror of it all. There was a deer, but you missed it. You didn't look in time. Yeah, deer. Grew up in Oklahoma. Oklahoma City. I was 10. And, uh, actually lived where I had about 13 acres of land around my house, which was called Red Rock Manor. And uh, being out in the woods like this kind of takes me back because we had, you know, a lot of land. We'd run around with the dogs. There was a creek, swing across the creek on vines and stuff with Tarzan and uh, yeah, it was good times. <laughs> Feet are soaking wet. I always bring two pairs of shoes on these kind of trips because it was raining and muddy. I'm gonna put on some fresh socks, fresh shoes, enjoy a nice little ride to the next frisbee golf course. Actually, got lost back in the woods, not good signage. Missed about three holes, got lost, but came on out, hit the last three, got a beautiful long par four. Can't beat that. Good times. Park in Warwick, New York. This is a pretty well-known frisbee golf course. I've heard of it. Um, looks like a lot of groomed rolling hills. Looks nice out. We are still having a little light rain, but um, wearing my frisbee golf t-shirt. This will make me play better. Get lower scores. That's what it's all about.
It's always handy to have a map with you when you're at a course and you're not familiar, you don't know where you're going. Uh, I printed this out actually at dgcoursereview.com, which is a great uh, little website for finding stuff around America. Maybe you're on a trip. Doesn't also rate the courses and stuff? Yeah, actually uh, they give ratings, reviews, they give uh, scorecards you can print out. It's pretty, it's pretty sweet. Do you like playing on open grass? It can be fun. Yeah. Trees, that's, right. that's true, that can be frustrating. So what are the good things about Frisbee golf and the bad things about Frisbee golf? Hitting trees. trip. I warm myself out. I'm at the last course out of six in three days. Uh, I guess the reason I like to play, play frisbee golf or disc golf is because I just want to live life to the fullest. Enjoy life, enjoy nature, enjoy some recreation so I can recreate, take a break, de-stress, chill out, have some fun, and uh, that's what I've been doing.